Here at one of Victoria's prime fishing locations, where fishermen and pelicans have been traditional enemies, competing for the catch from Victoria's southern waters, the local people know the real value birds can be as a world-class tourist attraction. If we were to drive over that bridge, we'd leave mainland Victoria behind and be on Phillip Island, home of the famous Penguin Parade. These little penguins attract thousands of tourists to watch their nightly parade up the beach to their nests. This side of the bridge is San Remo, where we find a new wildlife tourist attraction. I doubt that it'll push the little penguins off the top of the tourist draw card. But the pelicans, here at San Remo, are drawing the tourists as well. is a bird of contradictions. Australia's biggest native water bird, it's graceful in flight, clumsy on the ground. And this is a story of contradictions. Department of Conservation Officers and Wildlife Officers around the country generally advise us all not to feed wild animals. But the pelican is different. Feeding is encouraged. And that now goes for their old enemy, the fishermen of Victoria's San Remo Cooperative as well. At 11 every morning, you can set your clocks by them as the pelicans soar in to the San Remo foreshore. Just dropping in for breakfast. Fisherman's co-op worker Warren Dickey arrives with the fish box. The fishing fleet is in, the catch unloaded and cleaned, and leftovers are on the menu for the pelican's breakfast. You guys are very quiet today, aren't you? They're always there and we just thought, oh well, we might as well start feeding them. We were worth throwing scraps off the pier and they are always waiting for us. And we thought, well, we can make do something with this and we'll feed them every day and at a certain time and hopefully they'll come every day at a certain time. And they have, like clockwork. What do you feed them? 99% of the fish we feed them come through the co-op that we don't use anymore. That's after we've taken the fluid off. Usually 20 or more birds arrive, while summertime crowds can reach four or 500 to watch the feeding. Note the sturdy glove Warren wears. And he warns, don't try this at home or while picnicking. You might come off second best. I know they've got a hook on the end. I've been copped it a few times. Do you know what that's for? Well, say for picking up fish. Uh, when it's on the ground, they can hook into something and they can grab onto something and it just sort of holds in there. It's pretty sharp. Now, we have probably all been guilty of feeding wild animals, generally not condoned by experts. But why then? Is it acceptable to feed these pelicans? In this situation, Pam, I think it's fantastic. I mean, you've got people getting a real buzz out of seeing wild animals up close. And, and that's terrific. And it's terrific for them. But it's terrific from our point of view as well, because the better people understand our wildlife, the better they appreciate them, the more they're going to be willing to conserve them. And that's really what we're interested in. But doesn't feeding by humans sort of cause an imbalance? Yes, it can. Artificially feeding animals is OK here, but it's not OK everywhere. I don't see a problem here at all. I don't, I don't think the birds are overfed. Uh, there is no problem with them uh, causing injury to the people. And as I say, it's providing a fantastic experience for people who come along and have a look at them. And it's only when you see a pelican close up, you realise just how big they are. A body length up to 1.8 metres, and a wingspan up to 2.5 metres, and that bill approaching half a metre in length. Are they little birds, the pelicans? Yeah. No, they're big ones. How big? See those ones? They're over there in the water. How big? Like this. Yeah, bigger than you. So everyone benefits. The people see the pelicans close up. The pelicans get a good feed. The fishermen's co-op gets rid of scraps that would otherwise have to be disposed of in a more expensive manner. And 
and a little seaside town reaps the benefit of another tourist attraction.